Carol here and today I have a layout that I'm going to do about wood chopping at the Royal Easter Show and that is one of my absolute favourite things at the show and so I thought using the Minte papers that I've been working with, the Country Fair collection by Minte, I thought I'd do a wood chopping page. Now I didn't have any embellishments for wood chopping and I didn't want to have to go and buy any. Um, but I also have recently found a site, which I'm sure many of you already know about, called Creative Fabrica. And I'll have it listed below, linked below, sorry. It's basically full of anything digital, uh, graphics, fonts, all sorts of things. And I thought, wow, this site is amazing. It has hundreds and thousands of things on there. And I may have downloaded quite a lot already. But I thought this is a really cheap way to get your embellishments for scrapping. Now we all know that things are adding up, okay? So, you know, a packet of embellishments is erring on the side, getting close to $10 or so, depending where you buy them from. Some are cheaper, some are more expensive. But if you, ha if you buy a packet of embellishments and um, some stickers and some alphas and brads and puffies and it all adds up you can quickly find that you're up to like fifty dollars of product for one scrapbook page now that is ridiculous who could afford that so i have found this creative fabrica site and um i've actually joined it's 19 dollars a month which i think is amazing because if you have a brother scan and cut or you like fussy cutting it is full of all the embellishments you'll ever need for any pages. So when I came to this page and I was doing wood chopping, um, I'll get the photos out so you can see what I'm talking about. So it's the wood chopping they have at the Easter show, the men with the axes and the saws. So I thought, well, I'm just gonna pop in wood chopping, um, lumberjack, and I came up with lots and lots of embellishments. And these are the ones I chose. And these are from several different um, designers. So I, I got probably about six or more different collections of embellishments. And these are the ones that I chose from those sets to print out and use. And they are so easy to use. They're all, they, sorry, I'll start off. I'm trying to get tongue tied, but I'm really excited about this concept because I think it's gonna save lots and lots of money. So, you download the um, bundle or the, the file, it's a zip file, you unzip it and it's full of JPEGs. Some have SVGs uh, and other different formats. So you simply just download them and then the graphic that you want, I just popped into a Word document and the beauty of that is that you can resize them to whatever size you want. So for this guy, for example, I could have made him really big or really small and I can use him multiple times so I can print this guy out a hundred times and use him and I paid the one low price for it now um, each of the files individually to buy are like a dollar or so um, but if you join $90 a month and if you spend that month going through all the different things you can think of that you want embellishments for and then cancel your membership you will and truly have your $19 worth um, but that's if you don't want to join, if you don't want to keep going. But if you keep going for a few months, I'm sure you will find so much that you can download and use. The only thing is you do have to cut them out, but I don't find that a problem. I have a brother scanner cut and I could have dragged it out to cut these out, but I just sat watching TV one night and cut all these out and it wasn't that hard. So um, I got these, all these ones, and these are perfect. Like I don't think on the current scrapbooking market, I would have been able to find this many embellishments um, to suit my theme of wood chopping or lumberjack. So I think these are amazing and it cost me $19 and you know you can't even buy a couple of packets of embellishments for that now um, and the prices are only going to keep going up so and with the amount of stores we have that are shutting up shop like physical stores and you have to start purchasing them online you then have to factor in your freight on top of that so 
I mean, I should be saying that because I, I have recently started an online store for um, scrapping and car making supplies. But I have found that um, the freight sometimes makes it a little bit prohibitive. And like, I always think twice when I'm going to purchase things because um, you've got to factor the freight in and it's not cheap. So, but they're, they're all the embellishments that I got. So, there's more than that, more than these in the files I downloaded. So, I think that was like one, two, three, four. I think he went with him. Uh, five, six, seven, probably eight different files I downloaded. And they had more than just like this one image in that file. There was probably 10 or 20 images in each of the files. But I just chose the ones I wanted to go on my page. So I'm going to develop this concept a little bit more and use them, I think, for a lot of my layouts. Um, it's probably a little bit more time consuming because you do have to find the embellishments you want, print them out and then cut them out. Um, but if you're not in a hurry and you want to save money, I think this is a brilliant concept. Um, I will have affiliate links below for each of these embellishment bundles that I did download and use for this layout. And with an affiliate link, if you purchase, I do get a little bit of a percentage of money of that. It's nothing to write home about and I'm never going to be rich on it. But um, in the fairness of openness, I will let you know that I do have an affiliate link. And also if you wanted to join, I have an affiliate link for that as well. Uh, but I think this is the way to go for me going forward. I'm on a um, spending freeze with everything. Starting the online store has meant I've had to sink a lot of money into product. Uh, to stock the store and that's coming out of my own money so I can't do that forever so I'm looking for my own personal um, scrapbooking and card making needs I'm looking for alternate ways um, to get items that I can use that are really cheap or free and these are really cheap I think $19 a month is a fantastic investment if you have a good color printer and you don't mind um, printing your papers they also have a lot of scrapbook papers digital papers that you can print now obviously you can't print 12 by 12, um, but I find on A4 piece of paper, um, I can make that fit on most layouts. There's not a lot of layouts, you know, that you probably need to use 12 by 12 pieces on. So you can get away with all the layouts of having an 11 piece, 11 inch longest piece of, of paper. It's all how you use it on a page. Cut it up to make it fit. So you don't need the 12 by 12 um, if you're printing digital paper. So anyway, that's what I want to say about these elements, I think they are fantastic. And with this one, you'll notice, I want to talk about this one for a minute. There was white, or so I printed this on white cardstock, okay? So you can see here on my fence, I have no white between each of the paddles because I've cut down and I cut along the paling here so they were all joined so that I could get in and cut out the white in the middle. When I finish with this and I've glued on the page, I will make sure they are glued down and each one is touching where it should be. So you won't even be able to tell that I've cut down the side to get in here and cut out the, the white piece. Some of the smaller um, die cuts I didn't matter about, like this guy here in his arm and a little bit here in the axe. It's like, oh, if someone's gonna look at my page and go, oh, but you didn't cut out that. It's like, yeah, well, move on. Um, you know, you don't need to be looking at my layouts then if you're going to be that picky. Ones like this are a little bit more noticeable, so I did want to cut down in between, but you don't have to, you can just leave it. Alright, so I'm going to move all these aside and I'll get on with my layout. So I think this is a fantastic deal going forward. Um, you know, there's going to be times where I'm going to see something that I just want to buy in the shops. Um, and I will buy it, but that's going to be a very rare occurrence, I think, going forward. And the beauty of this as well, which let me just show you um, something. All right, so another thing you can do with the digital images, let me just leave that bundle there. And I want to talk about how advantageous, how advanced, that's not a word, how great it's going to be to have the downloads um, to be able to cut out, print and cut out. If you look at this, this is the die cut 
for, um, from Minte for the Country Fair collection. Now, you can buy the papers of the collection, but you don't have to buy the whole collection if you don't want to. So what you would do is buy a few of the papers that speak to you in the collection, and again, you don't have to buy the whole lot, just individual papers. But look at the icons that are in the ephemera packs, all right? And then search on Creative Fabrica for those items. So here we have, oh, what are they called? Hydrangeas. Search hydrangeas, you'll come up with hundreds of images hydrangeas, tomatoes, pumpkin, vegetables, um, old fashioned scales, uh, what else, a water pump, little um, huts or wood, what are they called? Um, in the States, it's called them wood huts or something. Um, crates, vegetable crates, gardening tools, uh, garden stakes. So all that you can search for on Creative Fabrica and I guarantee you will come up with hundreds and hundreds of options to download. So, and you know, you would well and truly get your money back for your investment of a um, membership in no time. All right, so I'm gonna get onto this page. So these are the photos that I'm going to be using. I have this piece of cardstock which I used in another layout. Now this is not Minte paper. It's from, I can't remember who now, but I used it on a previous layout in the, the series using the Country Fair by Minte. This is a Minte piece of paper and that's the reverse side. Okay, but I wanted the, the wood because I'm talking about wood chopping and I'm going to back it on this piece of wood grain parquetry or whatever you call it. Call it. This is from Studio Calico and I have no idea how old it is. 2013, there we go. That Away Collection. So it's been in my stash for a while. Look at that, that's beautiful, those mountains. Wow. But I wanted this wood green. So I'm going to trim off the border strip. And nothing on there to keep because there's no design, so I'll just throw that away. But now I need to trim this piece by, I'm going to start at half an inch and then see if that shows enough. Now I'm just going to do two sides. See if I can see enough of that wood panelling behind it. Yep, and that's enough. Beautiful. Okay, and then I'm just going to put this green dot in the middle, a little bit further up towards the top than the bottom because I want to use those fences on the bottom. Now, my photos are just going to go straight there next to each other and I may map them I'm undecided whether I'm going to map them and then this is my main photo so it's going to go on the bottom of that green piece and then this is where I wanted to use my picket fences because when you go to the wood chopping the arena at the now this was when it was at, oh, I don't know if it's Homebush or, or um, City Showground. I know when I was little, they used to have a wooden picket fence around the arena where the guys went in the middle and chopped wood. So I wanted to recreate that by having my picket fence along the bottom. And then I'm going to build a cluster up here and then one here and one here. So I want to use these wood rounds as my cluster base up here, one here, and then one down here. And I'm just placing them so I'm not sure they find a resting place now. Um, okay. So I know what my title's going to be. So I already have that sorted. Now up here, I wanted to use the silhouette of the wood chopper with one of these black and white rounds now and I want to 
wanted to put the date somewhere because my heading is going to go down here. So I'm going to put the date on that banner. Um, what else am I going to do? I thought I wanted to put some of these trees. I'm just thinking out loud. <laughs> All right, he needs to be chopping something. So let's put one of them there. So he's chopping that wood. Oh, if everything would stay still, that'd be great. And another wood round. There. These trees, I thought, might look nice up here. I want the date. Just poking out there. Right, I will readjust that. But that's roughly what I'm going to be doing up there. Alright, so I wanted this dude down here. This handsome spunk of a lumberjack. Took me a while to find what I was looking for um, because I needed to, being Australian, the terms that most people use in America are different. Well, they all, sorry, let me rephrase that. The terms you use in America are different. So wood chopping wasn't a thing. And then I went, well, I tried to think, what else is it that you guys would prefer it as, refer to it as? And I thought, oh, lumberjack. And then, boom, so many came up. It was amazing. Okay. Now, I want this big bit of wood down here. It doesn't matter if it's on the photo because um, that's not a dead space there anyway. Uh, what else did I want? I know I wanted this dude over here. And I wanted to use one of these with the saw and the axe because they not only just do the wood chopping but they get that really long saw either side and they go backwards and forwards. So I wanted that represented as well because I find that a fascinating thing to do. One I'd love to try, but you know, like everything, you want to try it and then you do, when you do try it, it's like, man, this looks hard. I mean, this is hard than it looks, more harder than it looks. Um, and I have these cool mountains because lumberjacks, mountains, timber, forest. So I've got like a little forest here I want to just pop down here. Um... So I didn't use everything because I thought it would be a bit of an overkill. I'm just thinking what else. I think that's probably it. My heading is chop chop. And that's going to go over here. And I'm using these um, cork because they're the right colour. These cork alphas. Now they may be a bit big come to think of it I may have to rethink my title I may because it's going to put my journaling down here and I've lost my little there's my little thing that says journaling goes here here it is it's going to put the journaling goes here but I might I might put journaling up there I've got a bit of empty space up there and I might put my heading along here I might get lost in the Yeah, I think it might get lost in them, so I may have to rethink that. I could put a small, mm, I don't know. I'm going to test it. All right, so that basically is the layout. I'm going to go now and glue it all down and put everything in its place and, yeah, come back and find out exactly what happened with that title. So I'll be back with the finished page.